What a joy it is for us to be able to be together in the presence of the Lord, praying and believing God. Now, my wife Charlotte is here with me again. Charlotte, just greet the people and just tell us why we can expect wonderful things from the Lord this very day. I just always feel so encouraged um, by the numbers of people around the world that have been seeking the Lord. We, Brant and I are part of the Global Prayer Family, which was initiated in January of this year. And there is 24-7 live prayer going on on the Global Family Prayer Room, in the Global Family Prayer Room, uh, with people from all over the world. And we are getting to know brothers and sisters that we've never known before who have been tucked away in this secret place, just really earnestly seeking the Lord in many countries. And so we just want to encourage your hearts today. We are not alone. We have a host of brothers and sisters around the world who are seeking the Lord every single day. And you know, this is just such a beautiful thing that God is giving to all of the intercessors around the world is this awareness. It used to be that people who prayed oftentimes did it in a very closeted sense, in a very hidden place, and they might meet other intercessors and they might not. You know, there are generations of people in the past who have prayed quietly and, 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 and God has blessed them. But in this hour and in this day, we are becoming aware of one, uh, one another. And so we're very grateful for that. As is our pattern, we are going to go into the scripture and we are looking today at a portion of scripture that is taken from Psalm 24 and this is verses 3 through 6 in the New International Version of the Bible that we're reading today as our foundation for prayer. It says, Who may ascend to the mountain of the Lord? Who may stand in his holy place? The one who has clean hands and a pure heart who does not trust in an idol or swear by a false god. They will receive blessing from the Lord and vindication from God their Savior. Such is the generation of those who seek him, who seek your face, God of Jacob. You know, Charlotte, as we look at this particular portion of Scripture, it really does give us hope. I really feel like this day, the Lord wants to emphasize one thing in particular, and that is that if people are seeking the Lord, if they're looking to Him, if they're not looking to some other false God, they should be able to have this wonderful sense that God is going to care for them, that God is going to bless them. It's not that we're doing it just for a blessing. We know that there are many different things about the motivations that we have in regards to our seeking of the Lord. But I don't want people to live in fear of God if they are committing their ways into his hands. He is a good God, a good Father, and He watches over us very carefully. Charlotte, perhaps you have some additional thoughts that you'd like to share before we go to prayer on this. Yes, I think the starting place of this all is really found in the last verse that you read, Brand, verse 6. Such is the generation of those who seek Him, who seek your face. It begins in the secret place with us just being in the presence of the Lord, honestly seeking his face, allowing him to quietly speak into our spirit. And as we do this day by day, the Lord is so gracious. He cleanses us. He purifies our hearts almost every single day. I would say every single day I have to pray about my heart attitude and sometimes several times a day. <laughs> because I want to be able to ascend into this beautiful hill of the Lord. I want to be able to be in His presence, and I know that the attitude of my heart is so important because it can choke out the life of God, literally. 
And so I have to come before him every single day, multiple times, many times, and just say, Lord, let me abide. Let me abide in your presence and in your grace and just keep rooting out graciously as you do anything within my heart that is not pleasing to you. And I love this where it says that this is the generation that seeks your face. I know every generation has felt that way, but every generation has a renewed opportunity to really come to know God in, in ways for themselves. God has no grandchildren, David Duplessy used to say. And it's so true, we have to seek out that intimate relationship with Jesus for ourselves. Yes, we do and we are, and I believe that you are as well. And then these promises are ours. Who may ascend to the hill of the Lord, the Bible says here. And we know that that ascending to the hill of the Lord is to be able to be really fully in his presence, really fully in where he is, where he abides, where he, where he resides. We want to reside where he resides. We want to, eventually, someday, we are going to go to heaven and we're going to reside in that heavenly home. But here in the here and now, this is the beautiful thing about this. This is not just for the future when we are in heaven. This is for today. So we're going to reread this as is our pattern. We usually read these verses twice. Psalm 24, verses 3 through 6 in the New International Version of the Bible, who may ascend the mountain of the Lord? Who may stand in his holy place? The one who has clean hands and a pure heart, who does not trust in an idol or swear by a false god, they will receive blessing from the Lord and vindication God their Savior. Such is the generation of those who seek Him, who seek your face, God of Jacob. Charlotte, I do want you to begin our time of prayer, my dear, and we will then pick it up after that. Lord, we just want to be in your presence today. Father, I pray that people will receive hope from these verses. We know, Lord, that each of us are unclean, Lord, to be in the presence of a holy God. But, Lord, it is by coming into your presence that, Lord, you cleanse us. So please do not allow us, Lord, to run from your presence, Lord. It is in your presence, Lord, where we find the joy of your intimate relationship with us. It is in your presence, Lord, that you gently and beautifully cleanse us, Lord, to be more like you. And I pray, Lord, we will welcome this, Lord, that we can ascend, Lord, into your presence even today, Lord. Father, I pray you will make of us, Lord, the generation who seeks your face with all of our hearts, Lord, who is willing, Lord, make us very willing, Lord, to be all that you have called us to be. In Jesus' name we pray. And we choose, Lord, to linger. We choose, Lord, to wait in your presence. We quiet our spirits before you. And we ask, Father, that you would fill us to overflowing with the sense of your presence. Lord, it is your presence, with your presence, in your presence, by your presence, we are filled with joy. And Lord, your joy is what sustains us through the hard times. Your joy is what undergirds us and buoys us up and gives us that sense of belonging and that, that sense of victory, really. Father, we just thank you and we ask that you will give to your people the beautiful sense of joy in the Holy Ghost. Lord, that their lives, our lives, every one of our lives will just be filled to overflowing with that essence, that wonderful fragrance of the Lord Jesus Christ. 
And Father, we thank you that this day you're going to meet every one of our needs out of your abundance because you bless your children because we're seeking you. We continue to seek you and we're not done seeking you this day. This is a beginning and hopefully it's something that is going to launch others, many others, to be able to be faithful in prayer. And so, Holy Spirit, we just put this all into your care, all of this into your keeping. Sustain your people, we pray in Jesus' name. Amen.